Chris Borzon here from the Ram Truck Commercial Vehicle Team. This is PTO 201. The first video covered stationary PTO. This video covers remote PTO. Remote mode means we're disabling the PTO switch in the dash and forwarding control to a remote switch that you provide. Now that we've clarified remote mode, let's jump into programming. So for PTO programming, you're gonna use the buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. First, you scroll through until you find settings. You enter settings, and then you find commercial. And when you enter commercial, you'll see a four-digit PIN number, which should be factory set to 0000. So you should simply be able to scroll across and enter the PTO programming menu. The first thing you'll want to do is enter PTO mode. Under PTO mode, you should see the factory setting of standard mode. You'll want to scroll to remote mode and select remote mode. Next, you want to back out of remote mode, one menu level back, and then find PTO parameters. And you'll notice that the PTO parameters are different between standard mode and remote mode. If you simply need the factory default setting of 900 RPM, there's no need to set any RPM presets. However, I know most of you typically like to use 1200 RPM. So to set that, we'd simply go into RPM preset number one, scroll through until we find 1200 RPM and select it. Now the final setting under PTO parameters is called auto resume. Auto resume essentially means that when you have the engine running with the PTO on, when you turn the engine off and restart it, the PTO re also remembers to restart. So the next thing we're gonna cover is what wires you need to connect inside the cab. First thing you'll need to do is find this packet of wires. This is the upfitter kit that comes with every Ram chassis cab model. Inside this kit, you'll need to find this wire pigtail with the black connector on the end. On this pigtail wire, you'll need to find the pink wire and the violet wire with the brown stripe. You'll need to connect those wires to any sort of generic switch, like this typical rocker switch that comes from the PTO manufacturer. Once you connect to the pink and the violet brown wire, every time you actuate the switch, you'll turn on PTO. Next is this larger bag, which is the bag that contains the wiring harnesses for the vehicle system interface module or VISM module. The specific two wire harnesses you'll need there are the green wiring harness and the brown wiring harness. All the VISM module connections are made on this area of the instrument panel, just forward of the emergency brake release lever. That's where the VISM module is located. Now slightly forward of that, in that same area, is where this black connector is connected to the mating white connector that will allow you to start and stop your PTO. Under the hood, your electrical connections and your hydraulic connections to your hot shift solenoid are exactly the same as in the first PTO video. So feel free to refer to that for all the details. The final item is what we call hardwired remote start stop. That's the thing you need for the bucket truck, the mechanics truck, the tire service truck to remotely start and stop the engine. This is controlled by a wire underneath the main fuse box. You simply grab the four clips and the fuse box will come up and out of the way. You'll find a bundle of 12 wires and in that bundle is a green wire with a gray tracer. This wire, when grounded, will toggle the engine between start and stop. Meaning, if the engine's running, the wire receives a momentary ground, the engine will stop. If the engine stopped and the wire receives a momentary ground, the engine will then restart. Now the wire itself is not actuated from the factory. There's a procedure in the bodybuilder guide that tells you how to activate the wire. Simply go to rambodybuilder.com, 
find hardwired remote start stop and it will show you that procedure. So that should set you up with PTO remote mode. If you have any other questions, check out our website, rambodybuilder.com, or you can get a hold of us via email or phone call.